Hey Dylan, let's discuss some further features with the G20 motor control module. One feature worth noting is the ability to power and control two motorized drive rollers per module. A second feature is the ability to customize speed, acceleration, and direction of your motorized drive rollers. Control Tools is a useful diagnostic and configuration software that enables the ability to test key features on the G20 motorized drive roller module. After successfully connecting to the AS Interface Master, our network can be displayed in a tabular format, as shown, or a graphical format. The following screen is very powerful because it allows us to monitor inputs and outputs. The product data sheet also provides details on the parameter bits. These bits enable additional configuration capabilities supported by AS interface modules. Let's begin first by understanding the inputs and outputs associated to a G20 module. By referencing the data sheet, the following information is provided. The photo eyes are monitored on inputs 2 and 3. The motorized drive rollers are monitored on outputs 0 and 1. From the information provided, we can easily monitor inputs 2 and 3 connected to the photo eyes and control outputs 0 and 1 separately, which are connected to the motorized drive rollers. Let's begin by observing the photo eyes. As we put our hands in front of the photo eyes on our motorized drive roller conveyor, we immediately observe the changes to the status of the inputs. Now, let's click on the node 5A and click on the data and parameter tab. By enabling output 0 and 1, we immediately observe action on our motorized drive rollers. Note, each drive roller can be controlled separately by its corresponding output. If we change the status to output 2, we immediately see a change in the direction of our conveyor. As discussed earlier, various modules have parameter bits. In the case of the G20 motorized drive roller module, the AS interface parameters P0 through P2 select the voltage for the speed signal. Note, the rotation and speed apply to both motors. By default, Currently, our speed is set to 7.26 volts. If we would like to slow down the speed of our motorized drive rollers, we can change the parameter bits to a voltage of 3.96. Immediately, what we will observe is a slowdown of both motorized drive rollers. Having the ability to change the motorized drive roller speeds is very powerful during the commissioning phase of the conveyor. An optimum speed can be determined and tested. A final function worth noting is the power up parameters. After determining the desired parameter bit settings, these bits can be set within control tools such that after the next power cycle, the desired parameters can take effect.